Garrett, knowing that it was win or go home and that the bullpen probably was a little bit thin tonight, just how much pressure did you feel to go deep into this one and give them innings? I mean, preparing for this game, when he told me that I was going game four, like, you know, there's an opportunity to clinch or an opportunity to go home. I didn't approach the game any different, so um, I just went out there and did my job. What do you think led to your success on the mound tonight? How were you able to get through that lineup that's oftentimes very pesky? Yeah, well, I thought <clears throat> defensively, you know, being heads up in the inning where there was, you know, like they were like scrambling or whatever, and and um, Ramirez got the base hit to to be able to shut that down with that defensive play was big. Um, I thought that a couple double play, or I, I believe there's a couple double plays or whatever the uh, pitch count was in check um, for most of the night in order to you know, have to pitch around somebody. And um, overall, just stuff was pretty good, but we just executed a lot of good pitches and mixed well, uh, well enough to well enough to get away with a couple of mistakes. Um, and, uh, you know, but I mean, I had to lead and I just was focused on executing pitches and not giving it up. Up front to your left, Lindsay. Garrett, facing the same team twice in six days, what adjustments did you feel you needed to go into this or was there anything that you felt you needed to bring into this one? Um, just prepared for Arias and um, just kept the ball rolling on, on the guys that we had faced earlier. So uh, just, you know, approach it as if they're continuous at bats. Uh, Brian in the second row on your right. Jared, Aaron Boone said he thought you were maybe running out of gas there a little bit in the last two or three guys. Uh, was there a point where you just said, I'm going to empty the tank and just leave it all out there? <laughs> I do that every time I pitch. I mean, it, it, whether he lets me or not, that's another, that's another, uh, that's another, uh, Another deal, but um, yeah, the, the consecutive mound visits just um, was to slow down a bit and a little extra time for recovery. So, uh, Andy Martino standing to your right. When you're in the seventh inning, when you're having to make a pitch that could almost literally determine the season, whether the season continues, whether you guys get the lead, is that? Uh, are those stakes in your mind on any level at the moment, or is it just thinking about executing a pitch? No. I mean, they're not in my mind at all. Um, plus, I got a pretty good bunch of guys behind me that would back me up if if we didn't execute. So. Now also standing to your right, Joel. Garrett, considering the nature of this series, which is four games and four days to finish, and how much your bullpen has been used and injured, did you feel the weight to not only win this game, but probably to win tomorrow's game, that you had to give some length here to protect that bullpen? I just don't think about those things. <laughs> I mean, like we have to get the job done as a team, so, um, and we did that tonight. I just went out there and approached it like I approached everything else. Uh, towards the back of the center, Andy. Garrett, what did you make of a uh, Naylor celebration? <laughs> Whatever. It's cute. Yeah, I mean, so it seems like it did bother you a bit. I mean, I, did, I just was made aware of it. Like, I didn't see it in the moment. It wouldn't have bothered me in the moment. And it just is kind of funny. <laughs> So, oh, standing to the right, Ian. What has Harrison Bader meant to this team, and how much did his home run change or impact the game? Yeah, he got the belt. Uh, he's electric, really. It's an electric player, impact player, impact player. Like, got moxie, got baseball awareness. Gets after the ball and defense. Um, a lot of good things to say about that guy. So, and um, yeah, he's had a really good series for us so far. So, um, that's obviously been fun to watch. 
We'll start finishing up. Randy in the third row on your left. Gary, you probably know Jameson as well as anybody here playing with him in Pittsburgh, friends with him. Uh, what advice could you give him for tomorrow, which is, will be the, the biggest start of his life? Hmm. Just go out and do what he did to clinch the division against Toronto. That was some good stuff.